Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. Just to let you know that you can listen to this podcast on my website without any adverts and also continuous play if that's something you'd like to do just go to my website it's in the menu and also all of my recordings are available to download and to stream for free so you can play them all for free download them for free and you can also download bulk downloads of up to 50 recordings at a time uh, for free as, as well so it's a pretty groovy website really now this is going to be a relaxation session so I'm not going to ask you really to do anything I'm not going to be talking at you like in some of my other recordings I'm not going to be talking about a subject it's just going to be a relaxation plain and simple relaxation session and there will be there will be background sounds if you listen to this with uh, just me talking but it'll also be a version with music as well and the background sounds on the normal recording will be the birds in the trees in the garden waking up and possibly that damn pigeon that follows me I've been following me since I was five years old but with the music you have yeah that'd be nice music from Kevin McLeod that I I add the same music to my recordings because I like that music and it's very relaxing and there's a benefit to listening to the same music but with a different recording because you start to get used to that connection, relaxation, connecting to that particular music. But then you've got me talking, you've got the connection between my voice and feeling relaxed. But then I'm saying something different. So it is a, almost some kind of continuity going on and you also have the opportunity just to listen to me without music so whichever you choose is groovy with me I love the sounds of the birds in the trees well they don't have to be in trees they can be on the lawn sometimes they come onto the windowsill and say hi knock on the window say hey JJ you alright mate I said yes thanks uh, go away please I'm trying to make a recording they say you're still doing that are you 14 years now you're still doing it I said yeah how's it going Are you successful yet I said no <laughs> I've got five people listening to me but it's okay they're very dedicated listeners and they say, see you then, and they go away. So, I'll stop that. So the... I think part of the plan of this recording is to get in touch with your own sense of humour. To get in touch with your own lightness. Your own calmness, 
that's inside you. Regardless of the, maybe there's a hard shell there at times and I guess we all have to have a hard shell different periods of our life. And, you know, the current situations at this point in 2020, which won't really be valid in the future, but at the moment, you know, it's tough times for a lot of people around the world. But then I guess that's always going to be the case in some degrees or other. Where that hard shell is there and... Even though it's, it may feel almost like a callus, you know, the same thing as you have on your fingers if you, if you work with your hands or maybe you play the guitar, get calluses on the end of your fingertips. Underneath it's soft. Underneath that. That wall that maybe we put up in order to protect ourselves. Behind that wall is gentleness, calmness, the need to feel protected. But at the same time, the need to feel, the need to feel, just the need to be able to experience all types of feelings whether it's comfort or discomfort knowing that those feelings never last they just come and they go like waves on the shore splashing against the beach and then the, the waves just move out again the water comes in again splashes against the beach and then the water just moves out again And even if the tide's coming in, the water's still splashing and then moving out again. And it may be splashing a little bit further next time, but it's still continuously moving out again. So it's never still. It's never always just staying. It's always movement. With the feelings, always movement even though we may not be aware that it's moving. It may sometimes feel like tension and stress is just there and it's almost like some kind of concrete statue that's immovable. Well, actually it's not. It's more like a, a hollow statue instead of being immovable, it's crumblable. And I'm not sure if that's even a real word, but you can crumble it. And it just turns into dust on the floor. And I know it's an old parable about the um, man who builds his house of sand on the beach and it's you know it's a really bad idea which is true but that's kind of a similar thing with feelings whether it's anxiety whether it's pleasure whatever the feeling is It's constantly changing. And you can build, you've got this thing that you build on the beach and the tide comes in and takes it away. I used to do that when I was a kid. Couldn't figure it out. I'd spend hours putting together or building some kind of uh, thing, which I thought was a sand castle. But I'd build it and I'd spend hours doing it. And then I'd come back to the same spot the next day and it was it was gone. Like who's took my sandcastle? And at the end of the summer 
I thought, well, this is weird. Surely there should be no sand left on the beach, the amount that I've used up. But never kind of dawned on me that it was the, the tide coming in. And I remember my grandmother saying, so I don't, I don't get this. And she said, well, you should do, you're 33 years old. Oh, okay. But constantly changing the sand, the castle gets washed away. And although it takes time, things move a lot quicker in our minds, in our bodies. So feelings and thoughts move a lot quicker. And it's worth remembering that every thought has got another thought behind it waiting to get your attention. So no matter, no matter what thought you have, it's going to be shunted forward by the car behind, by the thought behind by the feeling behind it. So regardless of what the feeling is, whether it's a feeling of pleasure, whether it's a feeling of dread, a feeling of fear, a feeling of stress, it's going to be moved ahead, pushed ahead by the feeling and the thought behind waiting to step into that spotlight to get your attention. And like a crying baby, sometimes all the feelings need is your attention. Don't need anything else. Just, you know, sometimes a baby just needs to see you. To stop crying, sometimes needs to be held. But just wants your attention. That seems to be the way thoughts and feelings are. Feelings of fear, feelings of dread, feelings of stress, anxiety. When we ignore them, they seem to, to cry a little bit louder. They seem to want our attention more. You know, rattling the cot, you know, really making a fuss disturbing us and then when we do actually give some attention to it to that feeling to that thought giving it attention not not saying yeah I agree with this just accepting that the feeling is there it then just subsides just drops away because there's another feeling waiting behind that's going to shunt that feeling ahead and you don't always need to actually give these feelings and thoughts your full attention you can almost have it on a conveyor belt on automatic so just say well okay let's have the feelings just let them through on the conveyor belt the light shines on each one as it goes through the belt keeps continuing to go along no feeling stays still but every feeling gets attention equal attention So there's no blockages, it's just flowing the whole time as you realise that when you step back and just watch that conveyor belt of feelings going past underneath the spotlight, 
feeling that they've got the attention they need and they're happy and they just move on. Maybe those feelings aren't as important as we once thought. Possibly those feelings are just feelings all with equal importance or equal unimportance even. And just in the same way as when you lay down on your bed to go to sleep, nothing matters. Nothing in the world matters when you're lying down on your bed. The same can be with the experience of sitting down or lying down and relaxing. Nothing matters in this moment. It doesn't mean that things aren't important to you. Of course not doesn't mean that you that the people in your life are not important of course they are but not right now not in this moment you're not thinking about anybody else in this moment you don't have to worry about anything don't have to care about anything or anyone, not even yourself. It can be a time to completely let go of all of that stuff, all of it, I mean literally everything. And you can notice how that feels when you decide to embrace this sense of letting go of everything. Where you no longer care about anything or anyone because you don't need to at the moment. This is a time for you just to let go. Just be at one and peaceful in your own mind and body. Nothing to think about, no one to think about, no one to talk to, nothing to say, no reason to say anything or think anything. Almost like just stepping into a, an empty room with a most comfortable bed. You can just lie down. It just feels as if all the pressures of the world have now left your body. And they left as you stepped into the room because they're not allowed in that room. No thoughts, not really any feelings are necessary when you step into that room. It's it's almost like you. You walk through a force field that just eliminates all remaining stress and anxiety out of your body and your mind. Completely zapping all of that crap away. 
all of that nonsense, all of that useless stuff that's no longer useful or necessary in your life. And even if you choose for this to last just for the duration of this recording, that is your choice. And all those people and life, life stuff, all that stuff can still be there when you leave this room. But while you're here, none of that stuff happens to matter one bit it's unimportant completely irrelevant to anything in this moment and that feeling of Increased relaxation is, is can feel almost like an out of body experience because there's no stress anymore. You can even look for it, you can look for it, you go, where has it gone? It's not allowed in that room. It's not allowed. It physically and literally cannot enter into that room with you. And what happens while you're in that room is those bits of stress and anxiety that are now lying on the floor outside by the door of that room broken up into thousands of little pieces no longer resembling anything no longer able to affect you in any way knowing that you can have feelings automatically on that conveyor belt just going past having the spotlight automatically given those feelings attention but not being bothered by them not needing to be affected by anything especially not now because this safe space of complete comfort really feels nice so calm in this room of comfort this room of safety and there's a peacefulness that spreads through your mind you can actually feel it in your brain physically feel the lightness in your actual brain it's 
spreading through your body a deep peacefulness that doesn't need any explanation it's just there It was within you the whole time. And that feeling is always with you. Wherever you go, whatever you do, whoever you see, this feeling of peacefulness and deep comfort and safety travels with you inside you keeping you safe and confident remembering how good it feels to just let go and enjoy sensations of deep relaxation spreading through your body and mind of you before you decided to listen to this recording and step into that safe, comfortable, calm room where those feelings from the past are not allowed to enter and they just drop from your body onto the floor by the door outside into thousands of pieces no longer resembling anything but just dust just dust As you continue to enjoy the sensation of comfort, peacefulness and safety in your body and in your mind, you may wonder what's happening to those bits of dust. on the floor outside the door the thing is it's windy out there it's windy and that dust is being blown away blown far away It can never be put back together. There's just too many pieces. And now 
all the pieces are spread out into the distance and they no longer mean or represent anything no longer have any effect on you whatsoever and you can relax and feel calm and stay there as long as you want in that room or you can open your eyes whenever you're ready and enjoy feeling comfortable and calm enjoy feeling peaceful and safe enjoy being 